Alright, ladies and gentlemen, quick video for you guys, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We're going to get right into this. This method will allow you to get your shooting badges as quickly as possible. I've played 37 games of my career. I'm getting a shooting badge every other game, and so I'm, I'm already maxed out with my shooting badges with the big. This is how I did it. The main thing that you have to know with this is how to call for a screen. On this game, even if you don't see the instructions up top, you can call for a screen. You can't, a lot of times you can't really call for it until you get on court coach, but that doesn't matter. As for the ball right there, go to the corner, tap the left stick back so that you can back up into the corner. Left bumper, right bumper. Whole circle so the guard comes. Guard's gonna come, he's gonna step back. When he steps back, you shoot the ball right in his face. Bang! Trades up, splash down. Every single time. They will try to double team you. If they try to double team you, give the ball back to the point guard, go to the opposite side of the floor, and they won't try to double team you. I also like to call, since I can call plays, I like to call half court trap. Because in half court trap, um, in half court trap, like they, they might try to trap me here, but look, same thing. Left bumper, right bumper, L1 or R1, call for the guard, he backs up, I shoot it right in his face, bang! Now, because I'm a big man and I got extra large feet, sometimes those are gonna be twos. Don't worry about it, just keep doing it. Because you're going to get, you're gonna get uh, credit for shooting the ball in, in somebody's face, contested jump shots, all that stuff, corner threes, everything. If they won't give you the ball, come to the hash, ask for the ball. They will give it to you every time. Once you get on court coach, you will, you look, they're trying to double team me, right? So look, this is what I'm gonna do. Get a ball to the point guard, go to the opposite side of the floor. Look, now they're not gonna double team me, right? Step back, calling for the guard, uh, L1, R1, time running down, don't care. He's gonna back up, green bean, money team. You have plenty of time. And like I said, those are twos, unfortunately, but because of my guy's extra large feet, sometimes I'm not going to be able, they're just not gonna be threes. That's, that's just all to it. So that's just how you do it. It's real simple, real easy, man. Left bumper, right bumper if you're on Xbox, and then you call for the ball, uh, left, left uh, L1, R1 on PlayStation if you want it like that. L1, then R1, and then you press the button that corresponds with the person that you want to come set the screen. Most of y'all gonna be point guards. Hardly, if you're a shooting guard, you hold X. If you're any other position, ask the shooting guard to come set the screen. You ask the shooting guard to come set the screen, the shooting guard is the one that I feel like most of the time comes and sets the best screen and makes the guy back up the most. But if you are the shooting guard, then you need to tell the point guard to come set the screen. It's gotta be a guard. If you call for a center, he's gonna step over the top of it and you're gonna be in trouble. But like I said, I got extra large feet, so sometimes I have to tap, I have to tap that button in order to make him step back into the corner. So you just, you just, you just flick the left stick toward the sideline. I don't do it that often because I feel like if I do it way too often, he will step out of bounds. So, but if you got a guard, you don't even have to worry about it because if you got a guard, your feet now you're not gonna be wearing size 55 shoes, so you're gonna be good to go. But if you have a, if you got a center like I got, it's gonna be hard. You can also take moving three, I mean moving mid ranges and stuff like that. I just found that this is more consistent than taking the moving mid ranges. And like I said, like 30, 30 games, and I, and I'm only starting like 20, especially when you get the jump shot creator, man. So to recap, here we go. Call for the ball at the hash. Okay. Okay, call for the ball. Dribble to the corner. Nah, see, that's what I'm saying. If you hit, the, if you tap back, if you tap back and you try to get a three every single time and they don't automatically put your guy in the right position, you're gonna step out of bounds. I'm just trying to tell you all of the pitfalls and everything that you'll run into in this method. So like, if you get double team, get a ball to the point guard, dribble to the other side of the floor, do your thing. If you don't get double team, Man, get that shot. Bro, I'm trying to end the video. Why y'all trying to hate? We only four minutes in. I got time. All right, I'm going to send him to end in a second just to show y'all how many points you can get and how much points things are worth. And um, maybe I'll take a fade away. All right, so I'm going to take, take a fade away so y'all can see how much those are worth. And then uh, we'll take a moving shot. So let's take a fade away. Oh, I missed. All right, maybe we ain't got time for all that.
I, was, I thought I could hit the fade away real quick. He, he really shot a moving three. Okay. Maybe that's not there. You know what? The fadeaway method, we'll do that later on. Feel the floor, coming down, same thing. Left bumper, right bumper. I'm gonna try to tap back so I can get here. You see, call for the shooting guard. He stepped, my guy stepped back by himself, shooting in his face, green bean, bunny team. If you need a good shot, start off with Ray Allen Pure. That's what I started off with. And you can see, as soon as his hand goes flat with Ray Allen Pure, you should be good to go. Like I said, if you can shoot moving screen, if. You can shoot moving shots, but I found that shooting the moving shots was a little bit too difficult just because I'm not a guard. But this will work for every single position. Get yourself to the corner. You don't even gotta be in the corner, really. I just step, I just shoot it from the corner because it's easier. Left bumper, right bumper. It don't matter how long it takes him to get there. Wait for him to get there, pull in his face. Bang. Anyway, now what we're gonna do, we're going to sim to end with VC, and I'm gonna show you how much you would have stood to earn this game like I said I do not have I've maxed this guy out so we won't be seeing a whole lot but as y'all can see 99.9 .9 performance I'll put that back up free throws look stand still mid-range shots right look stand still threes got me 2400 stand still mid-ranges got me 3400 so it's fine either way you can shoot twos, you can shoot threes, you just wanna get a, a wide open shot. That's all you want. You don't even need nothing else. I guess they took corner threes out because I shot those threes from the corner and they didn't do it. So this is what you're aiming for. Stand still twos, uh, stand still mid range, stand still threes. And then uh, free throw stuff like that, man. And look, look what I got. So look, that was 5,000 points right there. Imagine, and this was just a piece of a game. Imagine doing this method on a 12 minute game and you're scoring over 150 points. Like sometimes I would have 30 shots. So let's see what my stats were this time. And we can kind of, um, we can kind of see what it was. I want to, I want to pause and look at the stats. So what we got about five, just 5,800 points, boom. So let's see what my stats were. And then you can really see what's going on. Like I said, the video been longer than I wanted it to be anyway. Can I pause the game please? my goodness i don't want to do none of this i just want to show y'all my stats from the last game 5800 points right is what we got yeah about 5800 points we don't care about none of that and look i just play i don't care about no player minutes look i just played my game i want y'all to see look i played a few games because y'all see about a 96 so obviously i played a few games but look lakers 44 games even if you just think i'm lying and i'm not maxed out 44 games that's what it took me but it really took me like 37. I played like, and, and look, all my badges are maxed out. All my badges are maxed out. 37 games. Really probably 34 or something like that. And then let's look at stats. Cause we want to look at the stats from the last game. And then I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here. So y'all can try to, y'all can try to extrapolate, you know, look at that. I had, um, last game. What my stats said though? Season, career. I don't care about that. I want to see my, my actual stats from the last game. Uh, team stats, maybe? Uh, Lakers? Nope, nope. Roster? Here we go. Uh, games. Boom. Is this the last game? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know how to look. Oh, here we go. Recent games. Boom. Here we go. 122. Look at this. I shot four threes and 10, 10 field goals. So I shot 10 field goals, got 5,800 points, right? So multiply that. You With a big game, with a huge game, you're obviously going to get what? Like, like you're probably gonna get 30 shots at least so multiply that times three 5800 times three it's like 18 almost 20,000 points and you're gonna hit more threes right because i only hit i only hit four threes that game so imagine a game where you're gonna you're gonna do that like 30 times and hit like 30 threes and uh so i hit four threes let's say you hit 30 threes let's say you hit 40 threes or something like that so you're gonna multiply that times 10 you're gonna get 30,000 points or, or if you shoot, look, off of 10 field goals, you're gonna take 40 field goals, right? So you're gonna hit 40 field goals. And you multiply that, that times uh, five. So 5,800 times five, that's like 30,000 points a game, man. I'm telling you, it's the easiest method, it's the best method, man. Do this, get your guys maxed out, and let me know if y'all need anything else, man. If you need any other suggestions, please hit me up in the comments. I'm doing videos all day today up on request. 
The next video that's coming up is the best big man build, and that's the build that I got right now. Let me know if you need that. That was the in-depth joint. I told you everything. Stand at the hash, left bumper, right bumper, or L1, R1. Whole circle, whole B. Whatever it is on PlayStation, call the shooting guard. He sets it. You Once he backs off, you shoot the ball. You can do it every single time. If they double you, give the ball to somebody else, or if you're the point guard, just dribble to the other side of the court, and then it'll reset the double team, and you'll be able to do it. Do it every time. Get your badges in under 30 games. I'm gone, man. I ain't got nothing else to say to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm doing stuff on request. If you need a quick, quick something, let me know. Today is the day to let me know. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. God speak. I'm sorry the video was so long. I did it three times trying to get it under 10 minutes. I couldn't do it. It's just too much information. Um, appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out. Holla!